Space Exploration Technologies of Hawthorne, California, known as SpaceX, will launch a Dragon capsule on one of the company's Falcon 9 rockets to perform the first operational cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station. The astronauts aboard the space station are awaiting more than a thousand pounds of experiment equipment and supplies due to arrive inside the Dragon capsule in the next few days. This will be the first of 12 such missions for SpaceX and the first operational mission for an American cargo craft since the space shuttle fleet retired in 2011. The station is also supplied by cargo ships from Russia, Europe and Japan. The flight comes four months after the company completed a milestone mission that saw a similar Dragon capsule grappled and linked to the station, becoming the first commercially built and operated spacecraft to do so. This mission, called CRS-1, places nearly identical demands on the American-made Dragon and its Falcon 9 launcher. The Falcon's nine first stage engines will lift the Dragon spacecraft off the launch pad and into the upper atmosphere. The first stage will fall away, and the second stage's single engine will fire to place the Dragon in a 193-mile by 212-mile high orbit that will set Dragon on course to catch up to the station. The SpaceX capsule will not be carrying any people, only cargo. When it gets in close to the station three days after launch, astronauts aboard the orbiting laboratory will use the robotic arm to grapple it and maneuver it into an empty port. Shortly after, the astronauts will remove a freezer for scientific samples, along with other supplies, from the Dragon. They will place more than 2,000 pounds of used equipment and completed scientific samples inside the Dragon for a safe return to Earth. After three weeks at the station, the Dragon will be grappled once again by the robotic arm and released onto a path so SpaceX controllers can guide it back to Earth. Unlike other cargo ships that visit the station, the Dragon is equipped with a heat shield and parachutes so it can survive a fiery plunge through the atmosphere and land safely in the ocean.